Dear everyone, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are, Assalamu alaikum. Today or this evening, we are celebrating the 39th anniversary of Islamic Relief. We started 39 years ago on Tuesday, 17th. Of December uh, of January 1984. Today I am going to focus my message to the young people who at this time think that the world is gloomy, there is no hope, and they are disenfranchised, depressed or demotivated. I will tell you, during my journey, I, didn't, I don't believe in depression and demotivation as well. So let us clear this from the very beginning, that our journey was and is and will be a journey of hope. How to structure my talk today with you. First, we'll tell you how did we start 39 years ago. We had no name, no address, no office, no employees, no furniture, no phone, no telex, no fax, no computer, no budget, no strategy, no dignitaries, no political support, no social organization support, and no vision. No Wi-Fi, no social media, no internet, nothing. Nothing, nothing. We were the people of nothing who managed to make a lot of things for others. We were the people of nothing who managed to create something for others. This is how we started. Don't be put down by the lack of resources. Your intellectual faculties is more important than any resources that you are trying to seek. If you don't have this and this, the Iman, no resources will build you or will build your organization. But we had something, we had an aim and the objective, we had a message to deliver, a, a mission to accomplish, and a role to play. We decided to have a role. We decided to spread our message. We decided to have a mission and to accomplish our mission. This is what we have done 39 years ago. A role that we rightly grabbed, grabbed, grabbed. Nobody will give you a role unless you create it for yourself. Nobody ever will give you a role on a silver plate or on a golden plate unless you grab it. And you make it yourself. A role that we rightly grabbed it from the society because we felt that we are responsible. The one who would like to have a role to play, he has to or she has to feel that she is responsible to play this role. We felt that we are responsible to deliver our message to the whole world, to the whole world, not only to a small group of people or to a small geographical area. To the whole world, a new message, having new culture, ideology, philosophy, values and manners, etiquette. We are very proud of our values, manners, culture, languages, character, identity, religion, history, philosophy of thinking, and civilizations. 
This is what made us 39 years ago to start. To start and to still carrying on for another 100 years and more. Young people. We have managed, and look at my finger, we have managed to maintain our identity by because we did not want to have a distorted personality. We don't want to look like him or her, talk like him or her, think like him or her. We should create our identity which reflects the characteristics of our character. We have managed to maintain our identity because we did not want to, ha to, to, to have distorted personality, flimsy performance, and having no loyalty to our own community. To our own community. This is how to start remembering the, 30, the, the journey of 39 years old. The 39 years old journey. In our journey, we were loyal to what? To whom? To what and to whom? Loyal to the right holders. Who are the right holders? From among us, the poor and the needy who are paying our salary from their own money. Those rights holders, we have to be accountable to them. Because the money we spend on ourselves as salaries, as per diem, as education for our children, as rent and food, it comes from their own money. The money of the poor and the money of the needy. We are loyal to the right holders. For among the poor and needy who are paying our salaries. And keep it as an earring in your ear. No, nobody ever can stand and say, I do this favor to the orphan. I do this favor to the widow. I do this favor to the displaced people. I do this favor to the sick. No. You are employed by them. And they pay your salary from the fund, the organization raising for them, not for you. The rights holders from among the poor and the needy who are paying our salaries from their money. They are suffering to bring happiness, joy, safety to us as well as helping us to build the future of our children where they are living in tent, community center, or have no shoes, food, or clothes, or have no schools, and hospital and the clinic for their children, and themselves. Loyal to the values of our religion. Have to be loyal to the value of the religion. The manners of our Prophet Wasallam and the history of the Ummah. Not only loyal to the organization, loyal to the values of the religion, our religion, to the manners of our prophets, prophets, not only Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all the prophets, and to the history of the Ummah. Loyal to the human civilization, and we need to put underlining to describe this human civilization. Human civilization that was not oppressive that was not stealing people's resources, that was not killing citizens' ambitions, that was not spoiling the life of others, that was not forging nation's history. This is the human civilization that we are loyal to. Not the ones who did that. Our civilization or our civilizations Loyal to our civilizations that prevailed, prevailed the whole world for more than 1,000 years. This was our loyalty to the civilization who was actually empowering people, building community, protecting culture, protecting people, saving lives, not stealing. As we can see, some of those technically advanced superpowers stealing all the resources of the the marginalized and poor and weak countries. Through that, we have to go through many battles and many battlefields. We went through all the odds and met all the challenges 
and who have overcome the impossible. Sometimes they say the impossible, and the impossible will never become impossible because you can make it possible. As Nelson Mandela was saying, nothing called impossible in this life. Our journey faced fierce fighting against extermination of peoples in different countries. Battles to, co to protect the identity of poor and marginalized people. Battles against those who are anti-religion. Battles against those who are drying up the social organization's financial resources. Drying up all the resources coming to you and to the poor people and to the poor community. Drying it up. We have to go through all these battles. Special battles, uh, especially those organizations who call the Islamic organization. Battles against those who are, who are drying up the social organization's financial resources, especially the Islamic ones. Battles against the war on terror. Without even, without even, without even put a universal definition of what terrorism is. United Nations up to now did not agree on a unified definition of terrorism. All these battles happened during the last 20 years of the last century. But did the battle Stop? No, we're still going on. At the first 20 years of this century, we are still fighting different battles. The battle of September 11th aftermath, we're still suffering from it. The battle of Islamophobia, the battle of listing Muslim individuals and organizations on terrorist lists, the battle against banking de risking policies, Preventing money transfer to go to the poor and marginalized. The life-saving money to reach the right holders. The battle against causes and the impact of climate change. Who is causing climate change? It's not us. It's industrial countries. It's the big countries, the big brothers, the big guys, the big boys. And nobody can touch them because all of them and more are sitting in the Security Council of the United Nations. The battle against fraud and corruption. The battle to protect children's rights. Female household rights. Orphans, widows' rights. People with disabilities' rights. The battle of community construction and development. We have to build and construct communities. This battle is a part of the prophetical battles that the prophets and messenger of Allah took it on their shoulder hundreds and thousands of years ago. So did the battle stop? No, but we will promise you young people, especially myself, I can talk about myself, that will never give up, will never give up. Continuity of community construction. Continuity, when the rest is this, you have to keep constructing community all the time. Continuity of community construction because we are free humanitarian, developmental and social work. Why? Because we are free humanitarian, developmental and social workers. We'll never give up. We'll never give up supporting and leading awareness, raising ecosystem. Keep raising the awareness of the public, of the citizens, of the poor people for their rights. Keep raising it. Keep raising it. Keep raising it. Supporting and leading awareness raising ecosystem, people awakening, youth empowerment, and the youth leadership program. This is what we will never give up on that.
the battle or never give up advising whom the far and the near helping the closer one and the remote one and will never give up the concept of building partnership with others remember that partnership is a cornerstone of our work and our life We will never give up believing in our humanity, in our humanity that accommodate all others, all other humanities that will be different definition. Our humanity is an integral part of our creaturitarianism. We have developed, or I have developed this word creaturitarianism since 2006. And there's a talk, I'll put the link of the lecture uh, to listen to it in English. We will never give up believing in our humanity that accommodate all others. Our humanity is an integral part of our creaturitarianism. Creaturitarianism is not humanitarianism. Humanitarianism is relating itself to human being. Creaturitarianism relating itself to the creator and the human being will never be the reference for it but I'll, the creator will be the reference for it Christianism is the absolute inclusivity that capacitate the diverse humanity in giving performance and manner I'll say it again I'll say it again, we'll never give up believing in our humanity that accommodate all others. Our humanity is an integral part of our creaturitarianism. Creaturitarianism is the absolute inclusivity that capacitates the diverse humanity in giving, in performance and the manners. We are creaturitarian, humanitarian. And we are not humanitarian who were only serving others. No, no, no. Service is not enough. Delivering is not enough. Your service and your delivery has to have a message, philosophy of thinking, belief, value, and others. I'll say it again because it's difficult for you to, 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 to comprehend the word criterion and criterionism. We will never give up believing in our humanity that accommodate all others. Our humanity is an integral part of our creaturitarianism. Creaturitarianism is the absolute inclusivity that capacitates the diverse humanity in giving, in performance, and in manners. We are creaturitarian humanitarian. Creaturitarian comes first. And not humanitarian who were only serving others. We will never give up on building the limitless, endless life journey of our society. We will never give up building huh, the limitless, endless journey of life of our society. And drawing it is roadmap that were designed by our ancestors. Our ancestors designed the roadmap and will follow drawing the roadmap. We are creaturitarian humanitarian, not humanitarian that are only serving others. And we all, we will forever be defending the human Criterian movement. New terminology. I mentioned before that we have to create our own terminology, our own definition, our own philosophy, our own culture. Let me say this again. We will never give up on building the limitless, endless life journey of our societies and drawing its road maps that were designed by our ancestors. We are culturitarian, humanitarian, not humanitarian that 
are only serving others. We will forever be defending the human Christian movement. The human Christian movement. Please join us on this annual centennial centennial journey. A century before Allah is like a moment of our time. A century, uh, uh, a moment before Allah is like a century of our time. Sorry, it's a mistake. A moment before Allah is like a century of our time. This message is to you young people on the 39th anniversary. We never realize that we will have what we achieved and we can achieve more and more and more while we are a minority living in the foreign countries, in non-Muslim countries. Please, Young people, stand up and do something and never be demoralize yourself by saying, I have no resources. Just to start with good heart, good intention, dedicated work, clear idea, and Allah will give you a successful journey. Thank you. I'll see you maybe next year on the 40th anniversary of Islamic Relief. And I hope that all of you should be celebrating the anniversary of the creation of your organization. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.